Say she fought bravely. Girl, so she survived her wounds. What happened to you, Hunter? Are you all right? Oh, I'm grateful for this wound. It's a lesson I won't forget. And you should heed it, too. How's that? I was chasing a galloping grazer, so intent on my prey that I didn't see where I was going. Right to the threshold of a cauldron. A cauldron? What's that? Ah. You're from inside the Embrace, so you've never seen one. A cauldron is a sort of door, I guess. No one knows what lies beyond. Some say machines are made inside. Others think they're dens of evil, where the spirits of the metal devils linger. Same thing, I suppose. Whatever they are, they're forbidden. You mentioned a lesson before. What did that wound teach you? As I stood before the cauldron, my prey scampered off, and I stared, dumb with wonder. For a moment, I was a child again, wrapped from stories told by hunters at the campfire. I had a powerful desire to see what was inside. That's when the Watcher attacked. Cauldrons are guarded, you see. I barely fought it off, and got the scrape as a reminder. There's a reason the Matriarchs forbid those places, and not just because they're dangerous. We weren't meant to see what's inside. I'll never waver again. This scar will see to that. But for a moment you felt something. A sense of discovery. Are you so sure that's a bad thing? Has to be, right? Or I wouldn't have been punished. Where can I find this cauldron? My point is you shouldn't. Then describe the place I should avoid. You're a clever one, but not so clever as to heed my warning, I see. Fine, you're grown. I can't stop you. It's dead north of here, past the red drifts, built into the side of a mountain. Just remember, I told you to stay away. How could the Kaja figures close the border while the corruption spreads? God forget that. You're the Seeker. The one who was an outcast. My hunting party. My party has... You fought the killers, didn't you? The ones that attacked in the Proving. You saved many lives. I wish I could have saved everyone. Did you... How far did you follow the killers? What are you getting at? 
Are you worried your hunting party has been killed? There are worse things than being killed. What's worse than being killed? I'm... I'm not like you. I can't... I can't live as an outcast. I'm afraid. My friends went into the ruins. I can't go there or I will be cast out. But I can't abandon them either. What was your hunting party doing? After the proving, we were so angry. We wanted to strike back. And those corrupted machines left tracks we could follow. We caught up to them at dusk. We fought with all our burning hatred. But in the dark and chaos, I... I couldn't see everything. They stampeded, and, and then I was alone. I ran back here, but my party is... Your party is... Gone. What's worse than being killed? I'm... I'm not like you. I can't live as an outcast. I'm afraid... My friends went into the ruins. I can't go there or I will be cast out. But I can't abandon them either. Tell me what you want. Speak plainly. Find my friends. We were so eager to fight the corrupted machines, we didn't realize we'd reached the edge of the ruins. You're a seeker. You can enter Devil's Thirst without judgment. But please... Have pity on us. Don't tell anyone we were there. You have nothing to worry about on that end, trust me. I'll see what I can do about your friends. It is the end of the Nora. Perhaps even Next the world. Time I'll remember oh, mother, you forgive us. Paint. Remember us. Machines have been driven wild. Our family and friends lie dead. What hope?
Tan this leather well. It'll keep. <sighs> Scrabbling a bit. Welcome back. Is this the ring you were looking for? My mother gave this to me. She said, This token will be your luck, boy, and with luck, you'll be a brave someday. Where did you find it? Halfway down a boar's gullet. Not so lucky for the boar. I think I'll wear it around my neck from now on. Curiosities for dreams.
ruins. That must be the place there. Best keep an eye out around here. Got a problem? Get the signal going! Somebody needs it! Look out below! Someone here? Check that out.
She's here. They must be the bandits' prisoners. Looky who can climb! Wouldn't want to be you, fool! See how much of a mess you make. Seeker, may I speak with you? I'm honored. I... All mother be praised. Are you all right? Is there something you need? Yes. My friends and I watched you clear the bandits out of this camp. We're glad. They would steal from us. Chase us through the night laughing. We're outcasts, not braves. Almost defenseless. Where did you all come from? Some of us have wandered the sacred lands for years. As for me, the village I grew up in was burned in the Red Raids. I'm ashamed I wasn't there to protect them, but I was an outcast long before the Karja came. How did you all come to be here together? You wonder how we speak to each other when the law forbids it. But what hope do we have here, outside the embrace, alone? I wasn't judging you. I was an outcast once. Forgive me. You're right to ask. I convinced them to speak. I told them we were only sentenced to be outcast, not to die out here. An intelligent approach.
How did you come to be an outcast? I was a fool. I refused to do what I was told. Never went hunting when I could sit under a tree instead. I argued with my family every step, picked fights with other braves. One day, such a fight grew fierce. I got a lucky hit, an unlucky one. He went down, and there was no one left to speak for me. I deserve to be an outcast. You seem different from the person you describe. I hope to be. We are all outcasts, but we need to stay together to survive. This camp we once hated could serve us well now. Would you let us stay here, even if it flies in the face of the Matriarch's laws? Of course, by all means. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say so. You... you're an inspiration to us. Thank you. you came. You're glad. Why? Call it a shared interest. And call me Nil. Look there, those old rocks. A bandit clan squats under them. Disturb the rocks and they'll come wriggling out. Worms that they are. Bandits. Why have they come here? The Nora are in trouble. And rumors spread like blood. With no braves to guard the border, killers hungry for sport slip right through. My partner and I shadowed these scum for days. Good tracker, but he went on ahead without me. We talked about this kind of behavior. Still, I understand. Leave it too long, your fingers itch for the bowstring. Say, how about you and I work together? Kill them all. I don't know you, and I have no reason to trust you. Trust is a rare egg to find, isn't it? I'm just a traveler, with a bow, concerned about the state of these lands, and a missing partner. I don't think you're just anything at all. Hmm. Let me put it another way. Are you a bandit? Of course not. Then you have nothing to fear from. I don't need your help to clear out some bandits. A woman. That's exciting. Don't worry. If they killed you... I'll finish them off before they can make a cup of your skull and all nonsense like that. That's the alarm. Let them sound it and more will come running. It's a gift. And if you're the heroic kind who needs a little extra, there's the captives. I'll admit, at first I felt slighted by your selfishness, but you know, I'm glad I stayed to watch. Every kill you made, I prick my fingers on an arrowhead just to, to feel part of things. You were keeping score? What's wrong with you? I saw you were preoccupied. I didn't find your partner. They killed him. I hardly feel surprised he was already getting cocky when we carved through the last band of camp. I thought he and I were greedy. Only enjoy the killing as much as the challenge. No great loss. Nothing in the wilds I can't handle, just me and the voice of our teeth here. Your bow has a name? Yours doesn't. You're not just a traveler. That armor was fitted for you, and the way you hold your bow. I said a concerned traveler. I was a soldier. But I was a soldier longer than there was a war, if you follow. Where the arrowhead passes between armor and skin, that's the place I belong. So I make opportunities to find it. It's like coming home. Have you ever thought about hunting machines? 
Well, they don't get that look in their eyes. Did bandits wrong you somehow? They wrong us all. They live filthy lives, so they have to die that way too. So you hunt them down to help others? No, no. For sport. I can't wait for wars anymore. Life's too short and the thrill of death too sharp. If you kill a tribesman, there'll be retribution. Hunt a boar, they complain if you waste the meat. But bandits, they're vicious. They always put up a fight, and no one cares if you kill them. I'm not sure who's worse. You or them. We're standing. They're not. Clearly, we were better. We're done here. Here? I'm afraid so. But we live in a world of ruins, and bandits are drawn to them like infection to a wound. You wouldn't let that infection set in, would you? I'm sure we'll meet again. Maybe. If it can't be helped. If we pass each other by, we'll know it by her.
safe to come out yet? You're that brave who was outcast. What are you doing here? Your friend Den told me to come find you. Why are you up there? The Sawtooth ripped our packs from us. Uh, uh, me. Us. Without weapons, this was the best we could manage. Thank you so much for destroying it. Now we can get home. One thing. You won't tell anyone you saw us here, will you? I didn't. At least, not your friend. Need any help getting down? We'll go back on our own. Don't take this the wrong way, but maybe we shouldn't be seen with you, or they might figure us out. Branches can cut like claws. You're Orn? Aren't you a little young to be a sentinel? <laughs> you can talk. Fair. The war chief had me bring you these fire arrows. Send up a signal the moment you see anything suspicious, all right? I know, I know. I'm young, not stupid. If they come back... Just be safe. 
The trip down's the best part. found your friends, you know where. They'll be back shortly. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a relief. You won't tell anyone, will you? Relax. The matriarchs are up singing the Hymn of Atonement. I think you're safe. You're right. The hymn atones for all of us. Thank you. That's not what I meant, but okay. Corruption is loose everywhere. It said the Karja Fort has closed the border. The valley is sealed. Whatever happens to me, it's my own damn fault. Should have got out of the quick. And you brought the signal arrows to warn? I did. Kind of hope he never has to use them, though. We stand agreed. It is a poor war chief who has a craving for war. For now, all I ask of our braves is that they are ready. I thank you for your aid.
Those machines. You can see the corruption coming off them like smoke. Time to clear them out. Gotta be a way to override even these things. are moving components around. I wonder where.
gap. What does it do? Like those flying machines move components around. Might be able to take me somewhere. Might regret this. That's true. The machines are built in these places. Take me. Thank you. 
got too much already. Them if I don't spook them. Here they come. Corrupted watchers. This valley of corruption. Time to see if the Karja Fort will let me pass over the mountains.
The mount can't find its footing on these slopes. Risking its ass down here. So, will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her. Open the gates and send word to Captain Balan. Where are you headed, girl? West to Meridian. The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. I heard you talking about trouble in Banuke lands. Was that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there? <laughs> Not with the Banuke wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. What were these new machines and spirits? Honestly, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuk funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. There's a trade route. I thought the Banuk kept to themselves. The we Osiram and the Banuk are neighbors, after all. What's a few mountain ranges between friends? I have some acquaintances out there, still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but they say nothing seems to stick. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. What is this place, the Cut? When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuke land, they left the Cut behind. So a battleground from the war, like the valley outside the Sacred Land. Mm-hmm. Mountain Pass in the far north and east will get you there. It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome, especially not now. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. Here's 
try to get past me, they'll have to fight. Mark my words. Move along. You have no need to loiter around here. Captain Ballon, the guard at the gate said you'd been to Meridian recently. What can I expect on the trail? Nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. No, after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I could put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return, if there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. All of them confirmed my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Wally, tell what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the sight of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that, soldier? Nothing, sir. What is this place, exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian, and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karger at this outpost show respect to the Nora. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Vod wants peace. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... Well... While your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean... What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Avad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azuram. And the Sun Ring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the Fallen. So the Karja are allied with the Azuram? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Azuram for years. Avad managed to get them on his side. And he had help, of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Azaram's siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them. Scaled the North Cliff with my men and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azaram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. It sounds as though you approve of the new Sun King. He is the Chosen of the Sun. And what the Sundom needs after ten years of war. A calming light, not a scouring one. Sun King Juran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King Avad, that's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful. 
but not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. I'm tired of being. Any word about our missing men? I'm still working on it. Did an Osram named Owen come through here? Twice. I brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences. Do you know where Owen is now? Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vod has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the Sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. Machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption were stretched in to protect a few outposts like this one. As for everywhere else, well, travel at your own risk. I need to go. Let me know if there's any news about those missing men. Red tatters. More bandits like the ones at Devil's Thirst. Smell of rain. There is heavy with it.
them get to it. Dealt with the alarm. must have come across Captain Bilan's patrol here. <sighs> One of the Karja soldiers fell here. The other soldiers must have retreated. But to where? Oh, 
a soldier. Did anyone survive? At least his death came quietly. the helmet from the last Karja soldier. Someone nearly lost his head here, then ran off. Everywhere. A machine dragged something into the water here. But maybe he made it to that island. I brought down all the beasts. I wasn't expecting to be found, especially not by Nora. I wasn't expecting to find a half-clad Karjan soldier singing like a drunk. Well, I apologize for my um, behavior. I thought I was dead. Come on. Your commander asked me to bring you back to Day Tower. I refuse to be led back to my outpost by Nora, like some prisoner. Fine. Go by yourself. Wait. Look. I got in a tussle with a snap maw. It ate the half of me that was armor and bow. The thief is still in the water. I can't go back without a weapon. Find my bow, please. 
I'll get it. Just don't start singing again. You don't have to save me. Just get my bow from the snap maw and let me survive or fail on my own. Ouch. Here's your bow. Good luck out there. Thank you. I, uh, I didn't want to die in foreign lands. Like my men, may the sun light their passing. Bitches.
really use a hand over here. Please. I can't.
Next time, I'll remember what the Matrix decreed. And lives are on the line. Children would You're right. Mine. Sounds like you have friends in danger. Employees, not friends. A caravan on its way to trade with the Banuk, along a trail that swarms with machines. I made sure they were well stocked with explosive arrows, but by the sun, they left them behind. What sort of machines swarm the caravan's trail? Scrappers and longlegs, from what I hear. But there have been stories of something worse. Something that strikes with no warning. Without explosive arrows, they won't stand much of a chance. Why would they leave their best ammunition behind? I don't know. Mazavid, the caravan boss, isn't the sort of man to make mistakes. I brought the crate, hoping to catch them here. But for me to track them deeper into the wilds, that would be suicide. If I come across the caravan, I'll do what I can to help. Well, that's more than any of the worthless bums hanging about this dung pit offered. Here, take the ammunition I stockpiled for the caravan. You're sure to need it. And may the sun shine upon you. Seeing machines like that, corruption hanging off them. Little spark. Name's Jira. I run this fine watering hole. I like what you've done with the place. Something troubling you, Jira? When the Karja Fort opened, I got word that my husband had come looking for me. But only the word made it to the fort. He didn't. You have a husband? Kander. Beat him in an arm wrestling match. I left him behind when I left the claim. Some metal sellers passed him at the bridge near the glare break. Seeing as you drift on the wind, little spark, if I'm out that way, I'll look for him, but do you want him to find you, Jira? Ever have those mornings when you wake up without all the answers? Still, I'll be heading up to the fort to resupply. Luck on your travels. Said he lost another caravan of machines last week. Got my wages.
You there! I hope you've come to help. Lubavad sent me after you. Oh, I see. And did he happen to tell you why he packed us a crate of Ridgewood instead of decent ammunition? Three waves of Watchers and Scrappers so far. And worse to come. Without that ammo, we're good as dead. Lubavad sent me because he was concerned for your safety. The only thing that frightens Lubavad is losing an investment. We do the work, he counts profits. Lubavad didn't say anything about Ridgewood. He said you left the ammunition behind. Then the old fool has gone cross-eyed. Every crate we loaded, I checked twice. The glyph said ammunition, but when we opened it, it was full of Ridgewood shafts and nothing but. I have the ammunition with me. Enough for everyone. By the sun. We might just stand a chance after all. Alarms! Long leg approaching! Two arms! Two arms! You fight well, Outlander. I'm surprised Lubavard was willing to pay for someone of your skill. He didn't pay me, actually. I did this for free. Never trust the Karja merchant. Boss! The song cores are gone! What? That's impossible. Unless... Unless Dereed took them. When the first wave hit us, one of the men ran off. Dereed. I thought he was a coward. Turns out he's a thief, too. He couldn't have gotten far. True, but we're in no shape to go after him. Then I'll get him for you. But this time, I get paid. Quick learner, eh? Fine. Bring those Songkors back and you've got a deal. Dereed. Who are you? The caravan sent me. Caravan? What caravan? The one you sabotaged. You figured no explosive arrows meant no survivors, no witnesses to your crime. Look, stranger, I have debts. If I don't pay, the dicers will gouge out my eyes. Caravan. Did they live? Yes. I got to them in time. Thank you. As I turn and embrace the sun, may he burn away m my sins. What a waste. At least he died better than he lived. <laughs> You're back. And with the Songkors, I see. 
And Dorid? A, uh, stalker got him. It wasn't pretty. And you beat a stalker. That's worth a bonus. Here, take my share. You've earned it. I'll see to the caravan from here. I think the rest of the trip will go smoother. Washes away the taste of metal.
That alarm will wake up the whole camp. And more besides. Puts it out of action. Got something. Anything better to do? Thank <laughs> you. 
This must be the pass the tour was talking about. The link territory just above. No space. You'll be warm enough up here, Nora. I've worked up a sweat from the climb. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Smoke rising from the mountain. The village, too. Something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead, but not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye. A nasty business. All their best warriors. Lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off. Yeah. 
Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for, falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage! My spear! Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's Drum. So they marched their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Mm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aritok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum. And they believed her. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Orea found up there. A shaman's not gonna talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon. Or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Orea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. 
know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. What are these Werricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something and you might get a place. Some Werricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Werricks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Werrick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh... Mm, how do I put it? Uh, Women? No, 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 no. I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuk camp. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rafts. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, no, I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if our talk could tell me more about Araya or Thunderstrong. Maybe you the shot? You seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood? Yes. A sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Laolai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din? What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could, but its pipes are deep under the water now. So Deep Din is a place, and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now. But our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it. Or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy? Or remembering? 
So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like, but I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? like to pretend the cut belongs to the Danuk. Don't listen. This land is yours. After all the mad I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak? You're set on going back to the mountain? I put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, we rallied most of our hunters from across Banur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. This daemon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. There are other Werax in Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own life for all Banuk who need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. This... If you are... It is but... a matter for the... Aurea knows about this, Daemon. Where would I talk to her? She's certainly not an Outlander's. Well, I guess that's it, then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. We run into each other again. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were following me. So, machines in the South suffer their own sort of corruption. Okay, if I want to learn more about how this daemon affects the machines, I've got to find Maria. And to do that, I need to talk to her apprentice, who followed the river north. Outlander, wait. Wait a moment. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a... Tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Far north of here there is a cave, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Mm. 
Next move, I'm gonna die. Any news from the hunt? The isn't roaming far from the camp. We'll keep them together this time. Then we wait. But I bet we'll see the strength. the damage goes. It looks like the scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even reactivate it. It is inside its head.
I'd have to leave something else behind.
tonic part still in one piece. in better shape than it was. Jump anymore. I need to find a new spot. Climb up to its head.
No room. the upper hand.
then. Let's see if this thing can work for me. No ordinary thunder job. Large outlanders. The ordinary one weren't bad enough. Son willing, Abad will bring us out of this twilight time his father left. Bergen said Array's apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully not too far. Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Burgrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Asaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Aurea. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. What can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The demon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Talk said this daemon was frenzying machines. Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. Are these towers, were they part of your corruption? No. Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. All right, you want to stop the spread of the daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Aurea. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is.
Back to your business. Machines, but it can be overridden. Forget about traveling light. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. Bergen told me you're Aurea's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. You said something about Blue Gleam at the end of the Shaman's Path? We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Aurea at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her? I have faith she will hear the voice again. All right, I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. This 
still see the ruin now I was talking about. They must be thin. Oh, I think she's that moss. Probably came from somewhere up river. Follow the river and find its source. Seems like Fascinating. Those mountains must be the ice wasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. Blink, my eyes will freeze shut. <clears throat> well, somebody wanted in. They only blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door.
Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the dip? <laughs> Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? And there's our troublemaker. Doesn't seem to be as good at getting out as he is at getting in. Intake tower malfunction. Drainage system looks like most of the facility is underwater. How did this happen? I haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. The lock positions. Helpful. Focus might find something. That Osaron must have forced his way through here. just made me. <laughs> For a moment I thought my fire was snuffed. My forge gone cold. But nope. Nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. <laughs> When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go at that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... Flood. So I push the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect! <laughs> my savior, my salvation, and if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours, and with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. 
You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from... from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face. Seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses, it's in the storage room. Oh, yes, I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. Quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also, quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't gonna be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. Then I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Hilden. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl! Two sets of hands! Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started, then. I guess we better. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? You know, I'm reminded of the bell by took out here. You made it! Now grab that valve and give it a spin! On it. A little more now and I should be able to get the blasted thing moving! There. You should be able to lower the gate. Huh? Right you are! Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. Ought to lock this thing in place! One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate! A ladder is a rare and special thing, girl. You can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go and no further. Hmm. I'd wager the valves for the second food game. Oh, we're gonna get 
Looks like I could jump across a lad. We're getting a resting platform. I find a way out. Current's too strong. I can't swim against it. It's even less refreshing than it looks. Stagnant water. Charming. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. It's not working. Damn thing's too heavy. Plant behind me, would you? See anything big and uh, broken? Looks like part of the counterweight broke off. I can get up there. My weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I need to get up higher. Could climb up that wreckage. That's pretty much for you.
can't jump straight to the counter route from here. But we could climb higher, but I love it. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I need to get up higher. I climb up that wreckage. That's pretty much what I do. Thing did swallow the ring. <laughs> That's the old gilded intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen routes can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage room. To the spoils. Oh, what's in here? More old world treasures, perhaps? This place is full of surprises. We drained we enough water for what we need to do, but. I wonder if I could empty out the whole dam. Oh, 
pipes, valves. Maybe I can drain the rest of the water from here. Check the area with my... All right, time to get the flow going to the right place. I say this as a man typically enamored of complexities, but... This looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry. I think I've got this. Music to my ears. To each job its proper tool. Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes. For nuance and finesse. Not I. No, indeed. Not old Gildan. Looks like I'm on the right track. Smells like a forge side morning in the claim. So, as we circle back around to the matter of the supply room. a few more secrets down below. Of course, that storage room still awaits our perusal. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait! Almost there! Soon I'll hold the looking glass in my hand. Just like Mum and I used to.
Another holographic interface. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. Uh... What... Um... What are you doing with your hands there, girl? I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. Where is it? Where did it go? Okay, let's fix the panel and shut this place down. Gildan? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. Right there in the window. I would... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones should mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a Delve it was! Uh, by the Great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I, uh, believe we have some repairs to make. Prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge. Ah, you are a wonder. Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. Ha! It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. Maybe I'll take a look. Another adventure so soon? Woo! You're braver than me. Ah, there was no question of that. <laughs>
Water's lower. And going by that sound, I think Laulai's already at the bin. Getting about the sound. Must be the entrance to this den. You look happy to be playing again. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters. Not just for myself, but for my ancestors and their songs. Please, take this as a token of our gratitude.
pretty far up. The shaman's path must be around here somewhere. This must be one of the markers Naltuk told me about. Looks like each marker points to another, giving directions. into the cold, creepy ice cave. Better go back after I grab this loot. What's this charm for? To help guide the way with sound? If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Yep, focus can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. Another marker. Good. Okay, that way then. Time. Not sure I saw this fork before. Not this way. But then, where? Huh. I see. Up.
safely out of this cave. Done with the cave. So what's next on this path? Where's the way up? I need to pull the rope to move this thing into position. We're just filling up.
wasn't exaggerating. There's definitely something new out here. And I don't think it's friendly. Finding a rail, which means I've got to climb.
Should be able to get up there. Must be the shrine Nell Toot was talking about. I guess I should take some blue gleam. Sparkles. I can see why it's working. Nell Toot said a way went past the shrine into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. door. Maybe a ray is inside. Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? things turn, changing the flow of light. All right, let's see if the door's open.
fresh air ahead. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? you if you won't speak whisper is all I ask to guide me who no how how did you get here the way was sealed by the spirit herself I I used one of these Show you. Yes, show me. Please.
I'll bet the goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. Authorized to return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is forcing you. Orea, brought the spirit's voice back. It's a figure of... Come. must have been an ancient animal. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let it seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. You seem to have a history with this voice. This... spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off. Alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard her voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below. One you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. 
It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here. In this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul. Cut off from what it needs. Lonely. Forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's Drum. The last time. <sighs> she told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something... evil. She named it the daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help. To find a way to destroy her, if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again. Until today. What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him... I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a Warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. He and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. 
Thunder's drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain, and he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Ha! Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werax attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits the prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sekuli. You help her. You'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Freezing. The ground, the air, me.
full already. Here's one of the metal birds. If I could move that flying machine over a little. anymore. Maybe there's some way to get that flying machine over here. <laughs> My focus might see something here. could find something at least. Huh. Not so grounded after all. Now I can get across.
Something's been hacked out of it. Maybe I can find another of these flying machines. Just have to go up. Perhaps my focus can help. Should have brought a cart. No one's touched this machine since it got sealed in here. Shouldn't be hard to remove. I'll show it to that shaman when I'm back in Song's Edge. So this thing will... Improve my spear, huh? This machine has served its purpose. Keeper, Aurea said that I should compete in the trials here. Aurea did? She's never sent someone before. Then what is your reason for training? I would ask this of any Banuk who attempted the trials. I'm going to challenge Aratok to become chieftain of his Warak. Well, you better get started then. Each trial is a challenge for survival. But I can tell you more. This trial is the most dangerous ordeal in the Snow Chance. While not all chieftains pass it, only a chieftain may attempt it.
The Onslaught Trial challenges a hunter to withstand the ebb and flow of combat. Machines will be released into the arenas in waves. Pace yourself. Strategize. Only then will you be able to defeat them all without being overwhelmed. The Onslaught Trial Machine... Only then we... It begins after you descend that rope to the arena. We'll need... Introduced. Spotted.
first run on that trial and you claimed second place. I haven't seen many pull that off. The Onslaught trial challenges a hunter to withstand the ebb and flow of combat. Machines will be released into the arenas in waves. Pace yourself. Strategize. Only then will you be able to defeat them all without being overwhelmed. We'll start when you hit the snow. We'll need a moment. I beat a champion's time. That should get the wear act talking. In fact, I'll bet my name's all over Song's Edge. Might be time to challenge Aratok.
You took first place by the throat. Before you, it was unheard of for an outlander to... The control trial tests the hunter's ability to rein in the storm slinger's power. Only the wisest understand these shamanic weapons, and only the bravest wield them. Use the rope to get to the arena, and we'll start. We'll need a moment to pull the machines from the pass into the arenas. Then make your descent. To rank among the other Manuk, you'll have to work harder. The control trial tests the hunter's ability to rein in the Storm Slinger's power. Only the wisest understand these shamanic weapons, and only the bravest wield them. If you're prepared, take the rope and face the trial. We'll need a moment to pull the machines from the pass into the arenas. Then make your descent. strategy huntress very well we'll call this trial off the control trial tests the hunter's ability to rein in only the wisest understand I'll start counting up we'll need a moment to I'm still counting I shouldn't use my weapons up here. It'd be cheating.
You're first among all the other hunters. They were good Banuk. Determined, competitive. Not enough for you. No more trials. Not yet. They always come back. Eloy. Got a you problem because this they point. are too afraid to face the Benuka directly. I don't fear bandits. To fear them is to give them the power they What can I do for you, Burgrind? Mourn my poor departed luck. I finally met some Banuk keen to trade with Outlanders. Then, they up and vanished. Three Banuk hunters. Rolled in a few days ago. No provisions, junk equipment, no idea how to strip a machine for parts. Asked me to outfit them for a long trip. And you know me, Aloy. I'm sentimental. So I did it on credit. And they haven't paid. Well, they tried. Just look what they did to this Thunderjaw heart. But that was ages ago. And I'm starting to worry about them. Tell me, Burgrind, are you worried about their well-being or your purse strings? A man can worry about two things. Uh-huh. What kind of deal was this, really? Just what I said. I was nothing but generous, Aloy. After they dropped this ruined heart at my feet, I even gave them another chance. Sent them to fetch a few other parts I need. But you haven't seen them since. <laughs> Hide nor hair. What do you mean they couldn't harvest parts? Not uncommon with Banuk. The shamans work, you see. The hunters take down the machines. The shamans slice them up. No shaman with these three. Just two youngsters sniping at each other. And that big fella standing there smiling. So if the Banuk don't usually hunt without a shaman, what's the story with these three? Mm, they weren't telling. But hammer to steel is not a happy story, whatever it is. You said they asked you to outfit them for a trip. A trip to where? Not sure. But I heard them chattering about the Sundom when they thought I wasn't listening. S sensible behavior. Still, I get the sense this wasn't a sightseeing trip. They're running from something. 
I'm not a debt collector, Berggrund. If I look for them, it'll be to make sure they're all right. Of course, of course. Fires of the Forge, forgive me. I actually like these idiots. The molten steel of youth and all that. But uh, if you do manage to find them, you could remind them of the deal we made. <laughs> A scorcher claw, a loop of sinew from a stalker, and a snap morphine. If they bring me those parts, their debt's paid. And then some. Just make sure they don't bust them up too badly. I'll... consider it. Last I saw them, they were heading northeast. Good machine hunting up that way. If you decide they're worth the trouble, you might look for them there. To become a bandit is to admit that you don't possess the skill to survive without theft and murder. Cooley sleeps up there, clinging to the cliff thing. I remember once the bright machine gun. Give this to the Oscar. Pick up a handful of snow. My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow, Outlander. Yes. And apparently this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? The Warak. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. Now I see. The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Brother and sister? This is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures, and I'll put a quick end to this mockery. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah. I suppose you do. So why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. I'm not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. Araya, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's drum. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I... underestimated you. And our talk. I won't make that mistake again. See you at the Frost Figures then. So, off to risk my life in order to take charge of a new hunting band. Just what I always wanted. Frost Figures, here I come.
Okay, the frost figure should be just up there. The frost figures. I'm gonna talk in Ram. Outlander. I have prevailed over such challenges before, and fear none. But this one is foolish. You are not Banuk. You do not understand my responsibilities. I ask you, one hunter to another, withdraw. Let us go to Thunderstrom. You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander. I will not risk my sister's life again. Then we better get on with this. So be it! I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground! Enough! Let us begin! To hunt! To strive! That is the way of the Banuk and of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Your hunt will take you around the ridge to the center, where you must descend to the valley for your final kill. Each time, after your prey has fallen, you must launch a beacon such as this, so that all our kin will see your progress. Kill machines, launch balloons. Got it. So, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Well... Yes. And as Challenger, your path to victory is harder. If even one of your beacons comes in after Aratox, he prevails. <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. The hunt begins on my mark. few ways to go up, and those rock paintings mark the path. Okay, up we go. Take out the herd below. Every machine. The herd? Okay. We can do that.
Here we go. Come on, climb up here. Huh? Now climb the ridge and launch a balloon. Haratok knows what he's doing. No time to waste. Take the rappel point to the next challenge. Two bellowbacks ahead, Challenger. Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. Right. Two dead bellowbacks coming up. Now take the zipline and work your way down to the valley. Challenge. Something's wrong. My kin should be here, driving in our final quarry. True. Frost Claws from Thunder's Drum. The attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void.
You saw what she did. She defeated the machines. Not I. It is proven. She is the better hunter. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? My blood is in your teeth. I take my place behind you on the hunt. No more hunters may make the ascent to Thunder's Drum. The way is closed to all but the Chieftain and myself. It is not my place, but I would ask a boon to accompany you and my sister. It might be permitted, but only if you do as I say. No. Only if you do as I say. Thunder's drum awaits. There's a camp at its base, Long Notch it's called. Meet us there when you're ready. Chieftain. A new outfit. And a weapon like Aratox. I guess the Chieftain gets the Chieftain's gear. And now it's a long notch. Nothing left to keep me from Thunder's drum. Something tells me those are Berggren's missing hunters. I don't suppose you three know an Osraman song's edge called Berggren, do you? <laughs> Boys! That con artist sent an errand girl to collect what's owed to him. I'm nobody's errand girl. Berggren asked me to help harvest parts. Or would you rather keep trying to sell him broken junk? Broken junk? This pack will be on the move soon. No time to argue. If she's offering to help, we should accept it. Fine. We're about to take down these machines. If you're so eager to help, then lead the way! Get out of this.
about the last of them? I was just getting warmed up. <sighs> Good for getting right out there. Feels like out here. You want to talk about our deal with Bergren? Let's talk. That's done. You three are pretty handy in a fight. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Not that we needed your help. We are doing just fine without you. That's not the way Bergren tells it. He says you tried to settle up with him using a shattered Thunderjaw heart. What? That's an exaggeration. It was only broken in two. Urkai, we don't have time for this. Come on, boys. Back to the hunt. We still need two more of Bergren's components. What's the rush? We want out of these lands as soon as possible. That's all you need to know. Why are you leaving the cut? Well, we could go back to Baonor. Let Anakut slit our throats. By the blue light, Orkai. Why don't you just write our story in the snow for any passing hunter to read? <sighs> we... had a dispute with the chieftain of our old Werak. We thought someone else should have been in charge. He disagreed. It seemed like a good time to move on. So, we are traveling to the Sundom. From here to the Sundom, it's a long trip. Seems worth it. Sometimes survival is about knowing when to leave and where to go. Yeah, and in this case, survival means us getting as far away as we can from Bonor. We've seen enough red snow. What's the plan once you get there? What will survival be about then? Look, all that matters is that we get there. And to do that, we need shards. So if you'll excuse us. So this Thunderjaw heart you brought Bergren. Let me ask you this, all right? Why would it matter that the heart was broken into two pieces? Can't you just stick it back together? Of course you can't just stick it back together. I just meant... Oh, I bet that scam artist Osirim could. He just wants to send us on another stupid errand. Oh, he's not so bad. I like Bergren. Like him? Tulamot, he sent us out in the snow to nearly die under the feet of a Thunderjaw, and... Boys, shut up! Ugh! Every time someone brings up that stupid heart. I've got the Scorcher Claw Bergren was asking for. That only leaves the Stalker Sinew and the Snap Mawfang. You should hold on to it. You're coming along to the next hunt after all, aren't you? I suppose somebody's gotta keep you three out of trouble. Fine. I guess you'll have to tag along then. But don't start thinking you're one of us. The bloody snowdrifts aren't accepting new hunters. <laughs> bloody snowdrifts? That's what you want to call our Warwick? Yeah, it's not great to die. Well, it's, it's not like your names are any better. You. We're headed northwest, to the ruins near Hollow Hall. We'll be waiting.
Splendor. It would be my aunt. I've heard of you, Andre. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Hmm. That I know. My song used to echo around Banur. Omnak, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the Claws Beneath. Or they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip... My bones ache, Huntress. But you... Out hunting Aratak. Leading your own Werak. If half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands. Noticed, for the first time, the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance. But to stare forward at a looming wall. You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuk custom? Perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail, until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived. A Banuk hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the Claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the Claws, than to die while it still makes children orphans. This machine, the Claws Beneath, why travel all the way to the Cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain, the return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing before. Must have been twenty winters past. We were so close to bringing the Claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. We? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Werak then. A skilled hunter. Every few years, the Claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt... I had hoped to complete it in his honor. This is obviously important to you, Umnak. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? No, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. All right, Umnak. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the Claws Beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Hunt well. If I care to travel south, I'd not get much further than the Grave Road. What place 